Hi beauties and curls, we are back with another video and today's video we are talking about more products that we're not gonna buy. If you're new to the channel, if you are, yes, a neophyte, if you are new, if you're a newbie, welcome. I just want to let you know that you are a most welcome to eat any snack, chicken, and chit chat with your girl over here while you are being entertained by the one and only, yes. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you hadn't hit it already or you under a rock, get from under that rock, girl, and hit that subscribe button, yeah. We are jumping right into what we not gonna buy, what we gonna bring down, what we gonna condense because we are in a place of zen right now in saving $10,000. So I do have a playlist of let's save 10K hashtag. You know that's the hashtag that we doing right now. I'm gonna link it over here and you guys can check it We're out. Saving $10,000, is anybody on the train with me? Raise your hand. Leave some emojis down below of your hand raising if you are on the train of saving some money, saving some coins, saving some dinero, okay? But let's, without any further ado, let's get into these that we are slowing down or not buying until, like, while we're saving. Okay? Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have checked in my makeup, in my beauty, in my beauty collection that I am like, you know when you purchase it and you know that it's expiring a lot quicker than your, your purchase, you know, you running it out? SPF, y'all. I have gotten too many SPF bottles. I'm getting through this one. I actually have two more open. Y'all know these only like last for about a year, right? It's active for about a year. Now, it's still a good moisturizer, but the SPF in it is not as good. You know what I mean? So I actually have three of them open trying to get through these. Then I have two more open. And then I have another of the Tarte that... It expires in November y'all I just have too much SPF so what I'm gonna do the next time is I'm going to open one and once I get to about a fourth of the bottle is when I'm going to buy the new one because that way it won't overlap as much but I have way too much SPF and by the time I finish one these are not good anymore so I'm even I've even pulled out my travel one and I've been using that one which I really do love the Tarte one but uh, yeah SPF I have totally like stopped buying because I have enough but I won't make that mistake again and that is a make a mistake that I have made that I have learned from just as long as we're learning from them it's all good. okay so another thing that I have stopped buying or slowed down are my salon visits now it's been a while because I'm a naturalista I have an amazing curly girl natural hairstylist Kiana and she's in Studio City. I will link her down below if you are in the greater Los Angeles area. She is amazing. I've turned a lot of people on to her, okay? Even some people, oh, uh, some executives over there at Ipsy. Hey, I see you. Yes, over at Kiana's. But the thing I love about Kiana, I'll only visit her about, maybe about three or four times out of the year. But she teaches you how to maintain your hair at home. So I am loyal to her, but... I stopped going to the salon every two weeks. I was going every two weeks spending about 55 to 65 dollars and giving her a tip like the that was including the tip. So basically I am spending like the approximately like 130 close to 150 dollars a month on my hair. Okay. That's why although when Kiana cuts she does everything she does and I do spend uh, a larger amount of money with her in one setting versus the every two weeks but I only go to her four times out of the year so I am really paying for maintenance all right and I am taking care of my hair at home so I don't I, I feel like I can splurge a little bit more on my hair care products not going overboard now not going too crazy because I have been the natural hair product junkie I still got it in me but we in rehab right with saving this money but that I have like totally cut down I am so so glad because it taught me how to be self-reliant and really learn how to take care of my hair rather than depending on somebody else and then when it doesn't turn out the way that I want it to then I want to blame somebody you know what I'm saying and we can't be blaming we got to slay so 
I love that she has taught me how to take care of my hair and has taught me products that work for my hair. And I actually do the styles and everything that I have at home. Now, I could have my hair styled a little bit more. I am seriously thinking about getting my hair cut, y'all, into a curly style. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. But, yeah, that's what I no longer do. Okay, so another thing that we have cut down or stopped doing is eating out as frequent. I can tell you I probably eat out maybe every other month. Maybe every, no, every other month. It's not every month. And, you know, I've learned how to, I need to take care better of my health. Taking care of my health has a lot to do with me knowing what's in my food. And if I'm putting it in my food, then I know. Okay, sometimes they don't tell you everything that they're putting back in the kitchen, not to scare anybody, but I'm just saying because I want to save money, I know that eating out a lot can really make that bank account lower. So I have like lowered frank like frequently eating out. That's just and, and, and it makes it more enjoyable. Like if me and my hubby, if the hubs and I or the family and I do like dinner and a movie or something like that, it makes it more special because we're not doing it all the time. So we know that's treat time for us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So the next thing that we have totally cut out is fast food. Like we don't do fast food no more. OK, I'm trying to lose some pounds. OK, I can no longer blame Joseph is two and a half. I can no longer blame that this is baby fat. OK, I can't. I can't. I can't. It's not baby fat anymore. It's fat fat. OK, no baby fat, fat, fat. <laughs> so I gotta lose some weight and eating fast food is the worst thing. And I can tell that when I go into a health kick and then I try to like and I backtrack Oh my goodness, Some I have issues with my stomach and I just can't do it anymore. I can't. So fast food, and fast food is not cheap these days, okay? You can you can get a regular plate or you can get takeout and it's cheaper than some of these fast food places. So just not good for me. And, you know, I've learned El Pollo Loco is my friend. Yes, the under 500 calorie meals are amazing. Y'all got to try the chicken avocado wrap. Let me know what y'all think about it when you do, okay? Another thing that I stopped doing, I stopped window shopping. Y'all, window shopping will get you in trouble because you know you just don't stop at the window. You go to the door, then you go through the door, and you come out with a bag. Yes. I stopped window shopping. Window shopping kind of makes me upset because it's like I can't get what I see. OK, it is a form of discipline in window shopping and I'm not there yet. I just learned I'm not there yet. And it's OK. Just as long as we know our limitations, what the temptation is, I can't window shop. Y'all might be able to let me know if y'all can, but I can't window shop. OK, so that's one of the things that I stopped doing. I cannot window shop. I can't window shop. Y'all know that emoji that does that. I can't window shop. OK, another thing I stopped doing Starbucks. Me and Starbucks, we are in, we we broke up. I just want to let you know, I had a breakup. <sighs> I broke up with Starbucks. I cannot do, when I go to Starbucks, Starbucks is a treat. Uh, I have had it where me and my girlfriend go and she's like, I want to treat you Starbucks. Okay, I can't do that a lot because I'm trying to lose weight. And that's another reason why I can't go. Starbucks calories is not, it ain't, you know, I can get a skinny. You know, but let's just be real. I'm from down south. I need full flavor. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm an all or nothing type of girl. Like, I, I don't like cutting corners when it comes to calories and stuff like that. Give me something flavorful, but yeah, yeah just don't tell me. Okay. But don't tell me, oh, it's skinny. It's skinny. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Me and Starbucks, we broke up. Don't don't talk to me about Starbucks. Don't say her name. Don't say his name. Star Star Starbucks. Me and Starbucks broke us. What one of the things I stopped doing? I talked about it in uh, me and Serene Wu's video where we did a get ready with me and and saving money. I stopped watching hauls, y'all. I love so many girls I found that hauls all together just not her but everybody like on YouTube and I know it's the most viewed but hauls I cannot watch because hauls make you want it's the latest stuff that people are buying and I just can't look at it and I just don't want I, I can't 
I can't not in this place right now and I just stopped watching them I stopped watching it I can watch a favorites video I can watch you know I can watch an anti haul okay which are so hilarious to me I love those and I can watch like unboxings I can do those I can watch favorites I can watch essentials I can watch like a review and I can control myself but when I when it comes to a haul I just can't I can't do it because you know, the look, I start twitching and moving and I'm like, oh, ooh. um, those are, um, I just wanted to bring some more stuff that I stopped doing. I don't know how many, what number is that? Like five more, six more. But yeah, those are things that I stopped doing. I, you know, I already had seven things I stopped. I no longer buy. This is 2.0. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It always lets me know what you guys love to see. And you loved that video. I'll link it over here. But these are more products that or more things I stopped buying or cutting down on or bringing it down. So my bank account can grow. I want to have more experiences with my family and friends. And I know that me doing this, I had to have a brain shift. So this is helping me really realize where my money is going. I hope that helped you out today. And let me know else what you guys want to see. I thought about doing, you know, we are we are talking about things that we stopped, but I want on the positive sense. I mean, this is a positive video because it's come is bringing us to a realization of what's going on. But I also want to talk about things that we are starting. Let me know if you're interested in that video. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you have stopped by. You all have great suggestions. I love hearing your tips and tricks and everything, even when it comes to like purchases and where I can cut corners and save money. Yes, we don't want to cut, you know, it's all about quality right now rather than quantity. So yeah, let me know if you guys want that type of video. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye, ladies.